On today's episode of Fun with Science, we're playing with a couple of uh, gadgets I picked up at Mendelssohn's while at the Dayton Hamvention. These look like motors. They're actually a synchronous transformer, synchro transformer. It says there, manufactured for AC spark plug division, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. But they are uh, synchros, <coughs> interestingly. Um, there says 400 hertz on them. Uh, apparently that's an aircraft uh, frequency, power frequency, 400 cycles per second. So, and these were, uh, these. what these guys do is the position of one is transmitted to the other. You give them a field power, the 400 cycles per second power, and two, uh, two wires, red and black. <clears throat> and then there's three other wires. If you connect all of them in parallel, there's three other wires, a yellow blue and black connect all those up and the power and the position of one will be transmitted to the other uh, basically kept in the sink so one of them could be outside and be a weather vane the other one could be inside and tell you which way the wind's blowing or the position of the rudder on the aircraft or something like that but for 400 cycles um, a sensible person would buy an inverter off of eBay or something but uh, here we make do with what we have. So for 400 cycles, I'm using the old Barker Williamson signal generator. It's up for around 400 here, uh, for 40 times 10. It doesn't put out much power. Yeah, I do have that cranked up, but it's just an audio signal generator. It'll make your speaker uh, boop and whistle. Uh, to get some power, I'm using uh, this amplifier. It's like dear old dad's uh, AA903 pair of 6L6s. Uh, puts out pretty good uh, low impedance power and uh, as we know a low impedance source can drive a high impedance load I haven't measured the impedance on these yet that's probably pretty low this could be 4 8 ohms but should be batched anyway I've got it set for about 400 Hertz on the frequency meter counter there so uh, here's a display of what's being put out so with no Further ado, I'm going to turn it up until we get some power here. In fact, I'm going to turn it up until we just about have clipping, and I can just barely hear the audio. Uh, that's about max power we can get out of these tubes. Uh, the plates aren't turning red or anything. But at this point, if I turn one, you can see the other one turns. This one, one on the left is a better transmitter. And actually, we need a little bit more power. There's, um, it'll turn until there's enough force to overcome friction, but it's not tracking real close. But anyway, that's what it does. This one's not a very good transmitter. But anyway, if I get more power, then I can build a weather vane or something. But you move one, the other one moves. Isn't that fun? Um, here's uh, we're getting about. 8 volts on the output of the amplifier to whatever this impedance is. Anyway, I've uh, shown they work. Now I have to find a real power supply somewhere.